Hey everybody, um, welcome to the very first episode of Flesh and Blood Stories, where we talk about everything. Nothing is off limits, nothing is off the table. We rerun the gamut, we talk about it all, for everything from politics to pop culture to shit I just think is funny. And... Speaking of things that I find funny, let's just jump right into this first episode. An episode that I am calling Bitch Better Be On Crutches. I was leaving work today and I got into the elevator and I hit the first floor and I was in the elevator all by myself. And as the elevator was going down, I was thinking no no one was stopping it, you know, no one was getting in or getting off. And I was like, Great. Express elevator to the first floor. Awesome. I can get on with my day. And as soon as I said that, thought that, boom, elevator stopped. Second floor. And the first thing I thought of was, bitch better be on crutches. Now, the first thing is, that shit is funny. I, 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 I'm sorry that it, it's just funny that I would think bitch better be on crutches. That's funny. But the other thing that I want to talk about, I, and I want to talk about a couple of things here, is um, where was I going that was I was in such a rush to get there? Where was I going? I'll tell you where I was going. To the gym. Which anybody who knows me will attest to the fact that I hate going to the gym. I absolutely hate it. But I go anyway. Why? Uh, uh, <laughs> so I can keep bringing you the sexy. Uh, no, um, because I have to at this point. It, it's just absolutely not an option for me anymore. I have to go to the gym. I have to get on that treadmill. I have to work out as if somebody is holding a gun to my head. It's just not an option for me to do anything else but go to the gym at this point in my life. Which brings me to my second point. It would probably take about 30 seconds for, that per for the elevator doors to open, for that person to come in, for them to press the button, for the elevator doors to close. 30 seconds. Tops. The gym's still going to be there in 30 seconds. That fucking treadmill is still going to be there in 30 seconds. That old, creepy, nasty dude that is always trying to cruise me in the steam room, his fucking ass is still going to be there in 30 seconds. Nothing will have changed in that 30 seconds. And that's what made it so funny to me. It's, and I'm going to come back around to, to, to the moral of the story. But before I get to that, I have one more point. Um, what if the person wasn't wearing crutches? What then? What was, what was I going to do? What was I going to do? I mean, seriously. Um, was I going to say, oh, you're not wearing crutches. Sorry, you can't come in. Oh. You are driving a scooter. Sorry, you can't come in. What, seriously, what was I going to do? I'll tell you what I was going to do. Absolutely, fucking lutely nothing. That's what I was going to do. And sure enough, the person that got on the elevator wasn't wearing crutches. And so I didn't do anything. And when he pressed the button and the elevator doors closed... I didn't do anything, and when the elevator doors opened, and he went his way, and I went my way, he said, have a nice day, and I said, have a nice day, and that was that, and so that's what made it so fucking funny to me, not just because bitch better be on crutches is fucking hilarious, but because we get so riled up over the silliest, stupidest, fucked up shit. 
that means nothing. 30 seconds out of my day, 30 seconds out of my day, and my, ele and my, and my blood pressure shoots through the roof. 30 seconds out of my day and, you know, I want to kill the motherfucker who stops the elevator on the second floor instead of walking one fucking flight down. Really? Is it that important? Is it that serious? No. So, I guess that brings us back around to the moral of the story. Don't let's and I know that it's it's very much don't sweat the small stuff and everything is small stuff. I get it and it's cliche and it's hacky and whatever, but it's true. It's true. Don't fucking sweat the small stuff. And when you do sweat the small stuff, have the presence of mind to step back away from it and find the funny because I promise you. It will make your life so much better. And that brings us to the end of the very first episode of Flesh and Blood Stories. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please comment down below. Down below. Down below. Down below. Down below. Subscribe. Down below. Down below. Down below. And, you know... Keep and I'll make sure to keep bringing you the sexy, you know, <laughs> and I'll keep bringing you the funny, and we'll keep on talking about the stuff that's really, really important. But until then, my name is Stephen Dillard Carroll. You've been listening to Flesh and Blood Stories. I'll see you next time. <laughs>